Oh, well, there was room for that red, and he has slammed it in. What a pot. And that makes the black frame ball. It was end to break there, but he could get through to the red, and he absolutely slammed it in. 56 the lead, 59 on the table. This for 5 3, barring snookers. And that's why there were no heroics, just pop the black. Marco Fu. His fourth of over 60, and that includes two centuries and an 84. Marco Fu, 62. And this, all of the, looks like it's cost in the frame. Doesn't want to land on the right side of this. He's turned it over. So a disappointing frame for Ryan Day, having done well to win the seventh. One. To get back in the match. A couple of mistakes in this one have proved very expensive. Four snookers required. I'm not sure Ryan Day will come back. Four snookers required. Well, <laughs> there's one of them. Well, Marco Fu's got plenty of leeway here with four snookers required, but good shot necessary to get out of the first one. Okay. Go here for the time being. Nine. To get tight behind the pink, wants to keep the red on the table, always to the chance of a free ball, which would make life easier. Rain day sixteen. Yeah, let's play that. Very good hit from Marco Fu. Acknowledged by Ryan Day, whose job is not getting any easier. Deliberately missed the red. He doesn't want to pot that because while it's on the table, the free ball is still a possibility. Played it pretty well. Although he might be in trouble after this one. He just caught it. Very nearly got the double kiss there. He's not got the snooze.
Had that disappeared, I'm sure Ryan Day wouldn't have got out of his chair. Chance to stun him behind the colours in Bork here. Yep. In this frame, he needs four snookers, remember? But the table is, at present, snooker friendly. Has it got the legs? Not quite. Foul. Ryan Day four. Extension on the queue. Even with the extension, this is a bit of a stretch. Thank you. Well, the key to trying to get snookers is to first and foremost get the object ball safe. Well, it is a very big target to get behind the brown, green and blue. <laughs> Danger of going around the back of it. But he hit it full in the face. So, two down, two to go. What a frame this would be to win for Ryan Day. He's still the underdog, but you never know. It's going to be harder for him to lay a snooker this time, though. Pretty good effort, this. Pretty good effort. Well, he'll take that. It's another snoop. No, he should be able to hit this okay. Off one cushion. Oh, he's missed it. Well, that does change Brian things. Baseball. Three out of the four snookers. So he can elect the blue ball as the free ball, but snooker behind green and brown. He's elected to pop the blue. So that counts as one. One. Yes, of course, with the free ball. And that's what Ryan Day got. So this frame right back in the four. balance, incredible. Marco Fu was 100 to 1 on about 10 minutes ago, now no more than evens with the position of the colours, there's nothing safe. Right. 
What an unexpected twist in this frame. It looked a certainty that Fu was going to go 5-3 up, 2 up with 3 to play. Very strong position. Be a horrible frame for Fu to lose and a terrific one for Day to steal. Played that well. Good pace to lead the cue ball. And the red close to their respective cushions. And the key here is that Ryan Day won. This is excellent stuff from Ryan Day. Well, Marco Fu is 32 in front, but with the position of the reds, the red, I should say, and the colours, I don't think he's the favourite for the frame anymore. At best, it's even Stevens, and now in a snooker, this is difficult. Well, now, not another free ball, surely. Could be. Well, that's even worse. That's even worse. This is extraordinary. What a turnaround here in this eighth frame. It looked an absolute certainty that Marco Fu was going to go 5-3 up. Ryan Day needed four snookers. He thought long and hard in his chair before deciding to come back to the table to play for them. I bet, he, I bet he's glad he did now. What a chance this is to pinch a frame. He looked a certainty to lose. Marco Fu has a very placid temperament. It's one of his strengths, but it will be tested to the full if he loses this frame. And he's definitely the underdog now. One. So the yellow will respot. What is going through that guy's mind right now? I'm sure he can't believe that he's close to losing this frame, but Day needs to get good position on the yellow again here. Three. So another good pot required. But if this goes as it should, it's a great chance to steal. Well, one of the most extraordinary frames of the season so far. Four snookers needed for Ryan Day. And Eight. it looks as though he's going to win the frame from the very brink of losing it. He needs all the remaining colours, the black off its spot, so it's not a gimme, this clearance. But you'd much rather be Ryan Day than Marco Fu right now. 17. And there's plenty of pressure on this as well for Ryan Day. But he stood up to the pressure. And this relatively simple black will win him a frame. He had no right to win. That is a quite incredible frame in this second semi-final. Ryan Day needed one, two, three, four snookers. He got them with the help of a free ball. And he's cleared up to steal a frame. He looks certain to lose on the black. And it's on as even at four frames all.